Hi, Lauren. How you doing? I've got your spreads up. Thank you so much for um, resubmitting. And don't, no worries. I mean, you know, there's so much to think about right now. Um, I'm not too worried about, about, you know, the fact that, that, that this is getting in on Friday. And that's okay. That's, that's okay. I mean, obviously, you've been working very hard, and that's awesome. All right. So let's take a look at what's going on. So we have the first spread. Um, I, I don't know if you decided to, to go with a cover or if you're just going to go with the 12 pages, six, the six spreads. That's up to you. I'd, like, I'd love to see you print this out for your portfolio, personally. Let me take a look at your size. Let me take a look at your size. I'm at now. Okay, here we go. So we're at uh, eight and a half. Yeah. So, so again, eight and a half by 11. Um, and th this is going to be a, just an enormous page, just enormous. Um, I, you know, I, I would recommend an A6. Uh, A6 is a wonderful size. I, I would recommend using an A6. Even A5 might be a little too large. Um, but definitely this eight and a half by 11 is just, just enormous. I mean, this is going to fold out. This is going to be tabloid size. So it's no longer a booklet. This is more pushing newspaper um, size or, or not newspapers, but definitely tablet. I mean, it's, it's, it's big anyway. It's what I'm trying to say. So let's take a look. You got your title on the left hand side. That's really unusual. Typically you want your title on the right hand side. Um, it's just a word. It's just really unusual to ask a viewer to do this. Go to the, when we're so used to starting up here to ask the viewer to go here, try to read that, which as you can admit, it's not very legible. Well, it's not supposed to be. Try to read that, okay, and then jump all the way back up here to start reading the article, okay? So uh, placement there, I think I think you should be switched that around. Now, this right here, now I'm, I'm going to talk about typography from here on in, okay? Now, you have, you're using Greeking, and I, I you know how I feel about that. I'm, I'm, I, I don't like students using Greeking. Lift a story from somewhere, place the text in here. It doesn't matter where you get the type, you can just credit your source. It doesn't matter. Okay, don't use Greeking because I, I just don't think it's in, but it's, it's just not indicative of the way that, that um, um, this should really be as, as a, now well, forgive me if I, correct me if I'm wrong, or forgive me if I'm wrong, but I, I don't know if your intent is to submit um, Greeking or, or, or Lorm Ipsum um, in your final. I highly recommend you don't. Okay, next page. And note, we're gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna start drawing some guidelines here. So, so just note this. Okay, I'm just gonna go right here. And right here we have. Okay, and it, what is going on here? I, I I don't know what's going on with um. With uh. Yeah, I, I'm not real sure what's going on with um. Acrobat right now, but it's freaking out, and that's no, um, that's pretty par for the course. So I can't draw guides on this side of the page. I'm not real sure why. Let me try something. There's a guide. Let's try going back. Yeah, this is not letting me draw. <laughs> guide is so weird. All right. So anyway, um, boy. That's bugging me. All right. So anyways, um, let's go to the next page. All right. Um, next spread. Note this. I, this is a good two column spread, which actually is a four column because each of these is, would be two and that would be the fifth. So this would be a five column grid. That's awesome. Beautiful thinking. Right now, this is breaking the grid right here. We can clearly see that this text box is wider than this text box. Um, also, broken grid here. Look at, I was, what I was trying to do is draw a margin here, and that's roughly where the eight inch is. And then it, oh, that's why. Okay. Um, so here we can see that it starts in all the way over here is where you start your five column grid over here. But here you have, I'm not real sure what this is, just kind of a randomly placed text. Okay. Let's look at this now. Now, again, all right, now let's take a look at the next page. Note where your gutter is, where your margins are. Okay. Next page, look, it changes again. This column doesn't even line up with the, this grid. See what I'm saying? See how wide it is? You're, you're slicing that grid in half. Okay, likewise on this page, as we can see. Okay, so this text box is wider than this text box, and this text box is wider than both of them. Okay, so again, there's broken grid. Let's look at other areas. I like this layout. I, I think this is okay. <laughs> And this exaggerated thumb space, 
um, two column grid, or actually with three, it's still back to your five column grid using two, three, and then four and five. Um, or close to it, if not, then try to work that out. So that's how that should be. So I'm for this five column grid, two, four, five. So if you can work that out, that's good. Now, um, I also want to bring your attention to the vertical grid. Okay, so you've got a pull quote here. Let me, let me see. Let's go back up here where we... Okay, so ooh, you're looking good there, looking good there, looking good, good baseline alignment. This page looks very, very good. Good typeset here, nice rags. I like this page. Very, very interesting. Easy to hold. It's fun. This is a fun page. It's welcoming. Love to see a pull quote, maybe, or something. Something in here to break up the monotony of all this text. Again, another this good layout, good layout, good page mechanics. Good job. Okay, and then here we're back to this broken grid. Now we're at a two-column grid. Okay, both right and left. And then finally, this back page, we're just, there's no grid at all. Um, optimal type count, count. What is it? We've talked about this, Lauren. 45 to 65 characters for left aligned right rag type and slightly more than that for justified type. So you're at, a, a, you're at left aligned right rag. So you're over 100 characters somewhere. How do you count characters? It's every one of these characters plus the spaces in between the letters and punctuation. So like I said, anywhere between 40 to 65 would leave us probably right around here just screaming for a multi-column grid. This stair-stepping here, I, I, I'm not real sure. That just seemed to kind of come in. I, I'm, not a cra I'm not crazy about it. I just think it was kind of random. I, I do. I think it looks like it's kind of random. These pages are all mechanically very nice. And then this one just kind of goes, wait a second, what? And then look at these weird letter spacings here, uh, word spacings. Um, uh, that's a full line right there, that last line. So you have this justified left here, then this line goes way out like that. Likewise here. And then, of course, um, well, that's it. Okay, so technically, that's a widow. Technically, that's a, that, I love Acrobat. I just, love, there's a, that's a widow. Technically, that's a widow. Um, that is definitely a widow. Or an orphan, depending on how you look at it. Uh, right there. Sorry, right there. Um, rest is looking pretty good looking pretty good i think that you don't you know you, you don't want to start a new paragraph with this one and a half lines definitely not not even two lines i'd say three minimum to start a new paragraph let's take a look at some alignment here right there's the baseline why is this not showing up on my grid is so weird okay so there's your baseline there and i'm not sure but these will not align so weird won't just won't let me draw Okay, so so anyways, those those are out of alignment. So basically, that's basically it. You know, these are things that um, that that I think that you know. Look at that line right there. That that wayward line. Turn that wayward line. Right, this one right here, and then there's a, a, a an orphan and a widow. Right there's one as well. Okay, so basically, that is technically a widow. Okay, so so anyways, all right, there there you have it. I'm sorry, I've been going on and on and on. I'm over eight minutes. I'm so sorry about that. But anyways, there you have it. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll see if I can clarify. Thanks very much.